In this lesson, we're gonna cover how to analyze the data that we now have in our account. All and more coming up right after this. Hey there and welcome back to this lesson of our Google Analytics for Beginners course. My name is Julian and today we want to talk about how we can actually analyze the data that we have set up in our last lesson. Now data is flowing in and a lot of people who open up Google Analytics for the first time, they actually get overwhelmed by all these different reports, by all these different metrics that you can uh, look into and analyze and they don't know where to start. So I want to give you in this video a bit of a framework on how you can be digging through the data and actually going from a question to an insight. Now this is by no means all complete in terms of the analysis that you could do in Google Analytics, but these points will give you get you over the hump of actually working with your data within Google Analytics. Now we got lots to cover, so let's dive in. Welcome back to Google Analytics. Now that we have a little bit more data inside of our account, we'll be able to analyze it and discover it a bit closer. Now I don't wanna go through all the different reports and all the different data that is actually available, but wanna start at a higher place, how we can actually use this data for our business, for our website, because those might likely be different from the website that you are using or the business that you are running. So here are a few principles that we can use in order to make this a bit easier for us. First of all, we will talk about questions. Now, the data can only be helpful if you ask the right question. And Google Analytics actually gives us a good start with the Google Analytics home section. So here we get some actual questions like how do you acquire users already asked and the corresponding data to it. What pages do you visit? So here we can already have some idea about what questions we might be able to ask the tool and get an answer. So here you can get an idea. You could also ask directly the tool a question. Now this is a new feature in Google Analytics. If you click here on intelligence, you can actually type in your question like what product sells most and the machine learning and AI in the background will pick up your question and give you a corresponding answer. And if you want to dig deeper into the data, you can always go to the report directly. So if you have no idea what questions you want to ask the tool, you could always go back to this intelligence section or to the home section to get inspired what questions to ask and what data you might get out of this. Now, every good question actually prompts a follow-up question. So you might see in your acquisitions report here that a lot of people came through organic search. And now you might want to know how does that behavior actually differ? And this is where we get into the ABC analysis. So let's go over to the source medium report. We could just go here to acquisition and this will open up our acquisition and source medium report. And here we can see the ABC analysis in action. What does ABC stand for? Acquisition, behavior, conversions. We can also see this in the table interface here of Google Analytics of our report. We have acquisition, behavior, conversions. And this is a quick analysis framework, how we can get insights out of the data that we were asking for. So here we have how many people actually came through the organic search results and we get a number here. Now my dig deeper into the data, what did they actually do? So we have the behavior here and see how many pages did they visit on average on your page and then the conversion. So did they reach the goal that we set out for them to do? So for example, here we have transactions and we also get the revenue amount if you have the e-commerce tracking features installed in Google Analytics. So really quickly, we get a overview on how the question that we have asked might relate back to what the user does on our page, but also if he converts. And obviously we can also compare that against other channels such as YouTube. So here we see that YouTube makes up about 8% of the traffic. People who come through YouTube have far less page views inside of a session and they are almost never convert as opposed to organic users. So that's a great insight to have when it will come to your YouTube and referral traffic. Now I encourage you to go through such reports and see how you can apply the ABC analysis to the data that you have in front of yourself. 
Now, obviously that's not all. We also might want to know more about our YouTube users and ask questions, for example, which country are these users from? And this is where Google Analytics gives us a variety of tools to use, which we can't go over in this course, but the most important one being the segmentation. So once you have decided that you have an audience or a group of people that you want to investigate further, you want to use the advanced segments feature, which you can find here at the top. So once you click this, you find a lot of different default segments that are already pre-built for you. So for example, everybody who didn't convert, everybody who came through a paid traffic channel, everybody who looked at the website from a tablet device, and really a lot of different user segments. Now you can also build your own user segment. So for example, we can go in here and say, we just want to filter out our YouTube traffic. And then we are presented with all the different properties that are sent over with a page you hit. So here we can determine what our conditions should be that define our filter. In our case, we'll go with traffic sources here and we have the campaign, medium, source and keyword. Now, as we have seen down in our report here, we are looking at source medium. So the source will be youtube.com and the medium will be referral. So we can input that as well here. And on the right side, we see that the segment is updated and it makes up around 10% of our users, 9% of our users. And this can now be saved. And now all our filter inside of our account will be filtered down to only include people who actually came through YouTube. So our little graph here shows predominantly YouTube users. These are some false negatives that also made it into this segment. But the clue here is now that we have the YouTube traffic as defined as a segment, we can go through any kind of report. So for example, if we wanted to see which pages did just the YouTube users visit, we would get a report only showing the page views of the actual YouTube visitors. Now with custom segments, you could also compare them. So we can go in here and say, for example, we will compare them against the organic traffic. Let's save this. And we'll get a graph of the blue and the orange users here. And we see that the pages are much higher on the organic traffic side. And how does that actually compare with who is visiting this website? And again, we can go through our ABC analysis. We have our acquisition here, our behavior metrics, and then also our conversion metrics in this little table. And by the way, if you don't know what exactly a metric means, you always have this little question mark up here that you can hover over and it will give you the definition of this metric. So I hope you can see now how adding custom segments can be super valuable investigating your data further. And it also gives you a different viewpoint on that data that might lead to different insights when it comes to viewing data within Google Analytics. For me, it's definitely an invaluable tool when it comes to using Google Analytics and making sense of the data. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can actually work with your data in Google Analytics and use it to get two insights. First of all, you need to ask the right question, go through the ABC analysis, and the segmentation feature is very important to get the right viewpoint on your data and to answer your questions. Now, if you still don't know where to get started, I would definitely start with the questions in mind. If you don't know what questions to ask, we actually give you a little bit of a starting point. You can download our questions guide at measureschool.com slash questions, where we have written down some questions that should get you started and you can go by them uh, one by one and actually find out in the interface how you could answer them. These questions will actually challenge you to go through the uh, interface and try to find out how you could be uh, approaching this, this question, but also uh, maybe prompting more questions in your mind that you might want to investigate with Google Analytics. 
But now if you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up, but also subscribe to our channel because we'll bring you new videos just like this one every week. And if you're ready, then go over to the next lesson where we're gonna talk about how to take action upon our analysis in Google Analytics. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next lesson.